Hey guys, Nadine here again uh, for another segment on how to measure, okay? So each once a month or if you're on a challenge, you want to make sure that you are measuring and weighing yourself properly each week or once a month, whatever the case may be for you. So this is our body fat percentage machine, okay? So I always suggest to be consistent with your measuring, okay? Why we do all three of these things is for a better, you know, overall kind of view of how you're doing. The scale, it might not be very good for some people, okay? And it's not always an accurate thing. I love to go by inches and body fat percentage. The machine, the body fat percentage machine, really isn't all that accurate either. Really, at the end of the day, it's your clothes, okay? So please, first off, and you can send this and put this up on your Fit Clients account, or you can send this to me and just so I have it as well. What I want you to do is go home and put on your bathing suit, your two-piece, or just do a sports bra and some short shorts or even underwear. Do a before picture. That is going to be the best, best thing for you to use as a measuring tool. Because even if you don't lose a lot of weight or a lot of inches, you're going to see the toning that you're going to get, and that's what everyone gets excited about. Okay? Still going to go over the basics. So just ask your trainer how to use this. Um, it takes your body fat percentage. There's also a chart in the gym that shows where you are in terms of your gender and your age group and where you should hit. So the top number, after you enter all your information in, you just turn it on, you hit set. Um, after each command, you put in your age, you put in your weight, your gender, and it takes about five seconds or so, okay? So just make sure you grab firmly, wrap your thumbs around, and you're good to go. Like I said, it takes about five seconds. Be consistent with all your measuring tools. Try to do it as soon as you can when you first wake up. Use the same scale. Try to use the same body fat percentage machine. You can also buy one of these. They're about 50 or $60. Ask me for the link if you'd like to do that or just look online, okay? Um, use the same scale. Other than that, I'm going to go over how to measure properly. So sometimes, um, like, you can just go buy a measuring tape from the dollar store or you can use the... Uh, the self kind of measuring myo tapes that we have at the gym, which are ones that you can do by yourself, or you can ask the trainer or a partner, uh, another camper to help you. So what we do here is we do our chest, we do our belly button, we do our hips, we do our thigh, and we do our arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it right on Melissa so you can actually see how it works. So I'm coming up behind Melissa to start off with her chest. Can you set that right along your chest or nipple line and then set it for me and then relax your arms down for me. So what I'm going to do is just take it firmly, but not like tight, 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 and just take it to either the nearest, you know, quarter or half inch or inch, okay? And then I'm just going to write that down. And while I'm behind here, if you want to set that on your belly button, okay? And next up, I'm going to do this in, like I said, closest inch, quarter inch or half inch, um, and then just mark that. Then we're going to do the hips, okay? Because the hips don't lie, right, Melissa? Yeah. All right, be, stay together here for this one. And I'm taking the largest part around her booty, okay? So what we're gonna do, like I said, around the largest part in the middle, pretty much, and take the closest inch. And so I wrote that down. And then what I'm gonna do is the left. I always stick with the left, it's just how I've always done. So just stick with one side. You can do both sides if you want, um, but I'm just gonna gather one. So the left thigh here. What we do, and just to give you a visual, the connection between your bum cheek and your hamstring, okay? So you're gonna see where I actually measure it, okay? So right about here, and so then you can actually see the connection where you're supposed to be doing it, okay? And then for the arm, the middle section between the elbow and the shoulder is where we wanna go. And just relax your arm down. We don't want her to like, you know, show off the gun show or anything for this example, but we're just taking that, and again, closest inch, quarter inch, or half inch. Anything else? We're good. So enter those measurements into fit clients and then make sure you stay on track, set your goals and uh, make sure you reach out to myself or uh, any of my team if you have any questions. Thanks a lot guys.